I was really enjoying the run, as it were, in the corporate world. I was in the corporate zoo. They kept me intoxicated. I was making a lot of money. I was moving up the corporate ladder, but I just wasn't really fulfilled. But I definitely want to do something I knew I could be passionate about. I use the DISC profile to identify characters and behaviors and also communication styles. And from that, I learned a lot more about how to communicate with each one. And from there, you could figure out, I had people who were, you just give me the task, boss, and I'm going to knock it out. I had the other ones who said, let me go think with you for a little while, and then we'll develop the process together. So everybody had their strengths and weaknesses, if you will. But I started to play to them communication style. And you started to see that somebody that maybe you would have said, oh, this person's not a good fit for this role. They're, they're not a thinker like I am. They're just a doer. Well, I started to realize as I gave this doer more and more and more, she took more and more and more and more off my plate. All right, here's my snackable solution. And it comes from training. And I truly believe this is industry agnostic, but the training that we have put in place has transformed my business from a culture, from a people, a process, and the technology component. How do we do it? We know that getting people together in a training environment for people who aren't used to training, so this is computer programmers, carpenters, electricians, these are people who didn't want to go to school. They don't want to sit in a classroom. So you got to hold their attention. So what we do is we have a short one hour training session every other Wednesday or at least twice a month. And in that session, we do three things. The first thing is the thing I want, which is building culture and providing that great customer service that makes our customers keep coming back. So we talk about customer experience and customer service. And what we do is we tell a story first, engage their skilled trade brain, and then tell them what we want. And they digest it. Then on the operational and the processes, how to get paid and how to fill out your timesheet. Or in our case, we use iPads and tablets to go out into businesses and the customers have to sign those. How to use those correctly. Maybe never used them before. And if you guys do that right, you make more money. And the last thing, if we don't do this, is we give them some new tool, some new technique, some new trick, whether it be here is the way to better do a better deck. This is the way to finish drywall better. This is a better way to uh, manage your finances and you're giving back to them and doing that and making their life and their job easier. Those guys will then take all three of those things and they'll go forth and they'll do what you want them to do, which is they're the face of your company, taking care of your customers. And as they say, Happy customers come from happy employees. So you need to get those happy employees understanding where you're going, what they're part of, how they need to do it, why it's better for them. And then lastly, this is how I'm gonna make your life easier and you're gonna be able to go provide for your families. Hey, you can find me a number of ways. So I'm on Instagram. I'm called the customer service dot freak. You can find Chris Lalamia. That's Chris Lalamia on Facebook. You can also email me, Chris at the trusted toolbox.com. And I have a number of websites out there. The trustedtoolbox.com is one way, the homeserviceinstitute.com, and then we also have our uh, website for our podcast, the Safari Podcast.